Thank you. So just a little bit of an um, introduction before. So my name is Yannick Penvo. I'm a SharePoint and Office 365 architect. I recently founded my own company, so I'm doing more and more SharePoint and Office 65 that I really like to do, so it's good. Um, the, my, my demo today is about um, using uh, Office UI Fabric Panel uh, within the SharePoint Framework solution and more especially within um, list view command set extensions. So a panel uh, uh, in uh, Office UI Fabric is a component that you can use it is a React component, so you have to, to have a React uh, setup in your solution, and you can use it and uh, uh, to display this kind of thing, like here you can see on the Office UI Fabric uh, site. Um, so first of all, I will show you how it is done in a web part, so in a regular web part solution, it's really really easy to do. So here I have a, a web part in the workbench, and when I click the open panel, open button, open panel button, I have a panel uh, showing up. So in the code, um, it it looks like this. So let's go to my web part. So I have a uh, React component here, and in the render method, I have the thing that displays in the web path, and I have the panel here, okay? And the is open property of the panel actually tells the panel whether it should show or, or hide. So when I click the button, and it calls the uh, open panel method, update the state of the, of the React component and the show panel property, so re-execute the render, the method and display panel because the show panel property is set to true. So it, it is the React component in the um, the class of the web part itself. It is how uh, it just rendered the, the 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 React component. So it it instantiate the component and then call the React DOM render method with the element instance and the DOM element, the element in the DOM, the, the React component will be inserted in. So um, it all started for me when I wanted actually to use this panel, but in the context of a, a, a for example, like this, I have a, a list here, a simple, and then when I select uh, an item, I have a comment, a comment, uh, a comment in the ribbon here in the in the comment bar, really uh, appearing. So if I click the button, it opens up a panel on the on the side with a full custom UI and a full custom um, business logic that I, I I would like to implement. So here, nothing really fancy, just to update uh, the title of the list item when I click the apply. It calls uh, using the PNP JS. It calls the, the the REST API and update the title. So really, really nothing uh, big here. But when it comes to implement the thing, uh, actually, it's you have a step more than just uh, you doing it uh, in like you would do it in a web part. So. Here I have the um, uh, comment set um, class, the list view comment set class. And when you see the uh, list view comment set extension, actually you don't have anything uh, related to React because you are not, you maybe don't want to have a UI at all. So you, you don't have anything with React or any other framework. So the first thing you, you have to do is actually to add the dependencies to the React and also to the Office UI Fabric uh, package. So in the package.json here, you see that the dependencies I have added. Actually, in that case, I scaffolded the project 
contact with the web part first. So, and I chose the React uh, framework, so it already did it for me. I only added the Office UI Fabric React. Uh, by the way, uh, I had to set the version to five because there is apparently some issues with version of Office UI Fabric React uh, with uh, SPFX. But anyway. Um, uh, quickly, Annick, on that one, that relates on the version of the TypeScript being used, and we are working on that one, which should be fixed on 1.8. So, okay. Fabric is using a newer version, which we SPFX is not yet using. So. I, I didn't really investigate uh, how to fix it. I <laughs> just fall back to version 5, and <laughs> it was working. Um, so, uh, back to my. Uh, um, this view comment set extension here. So what I want to do is when I click the, the, the button, I want to show the panel. Okay, okay. an execute method uh, from the list view comment set. I get the properties I need for the list item, etc. and call the show, met show panel method. And the show panel method is actually just calling the method to render the panel component and you see the show panel and the dismiss panel method are both rendering the panel. One was, is supposed to render the, the fact that it hides the panel, okay? And this render panel component method is actually just doing exactly the same thing as you would have in uh, uh, the web part, um, the, the, the web part class here in the render method. So instantiate the React component and call the render method from the React DOM. So, so if I go back to here, it is what we do. Instantiate the React component and calling the render method. This React component that I have here, I added in a components folder that I created and created a custom uh, panel.jsx uh, file with the custom panel. Uh, React component here, and this one actually it, in the render method of the React component, as the root component, I render a panel with all the contents in it, okay, and also the is open um, value that comes from the component property. This property I pass it in uh, here. In this case, so here or here. And the single uh, a bit, I would say, each tree at all, it is that in the context of a list view command set, you don't have actually any reference to a DOM element. In the, in the web part, you would have here at this dot DOM element, but here you see that we don't have it, okay? And we don't have either a, a placeholder provider like we would have in the application customizer context. So we are really in that we have to pass it in a, a natural element that we created, we create uh, to host the, the React component. So how could we do that? Simply because we are in JavaScript, we can do, we can create an element and we can actually do some kind of dumb injection. It is uh, some kind of a simple dumb injection. Actually, we are creating a, uh, creating a div element and we append it to the body of the DOM. We keep the, ref the, the reference to this element, and we use it when, uh, uh, when we need it in the render method of the React DOM. So it is that simple, but we have to know it uh, to, to be able to use uh, uh, an Office Fabric React uh, panel in a list view command set in Japan framework. And that's it. <laughs> It's really nothing more, but uh, it's a, a way that we can uh, um, in Japan framework uh, list view common sense. 
Great stuff. Very cool um, and very great usage of the Office uh, UI Fabric components. So really uh, good to see that. Hopefully uh, a lot of folks can kind of take that example and uh, roll with it. Uh, a lot of the components work very similar, uh, so it's uh, a great way to get started with uh, any and all of them. <clears throat> so with that, oh, make Andrew a presenter. And uh, now I think we're ready to switch over to Andrew. Thank you, Yannick, very much. Appreciate the demo. You're welcome. Oh, and do you have that? Uh, yeah, so there's the blog post there. Uh, somebody, uh, David, has just pasted that into the chat window there. Perfect stuff. Yep. And the link to the sample. Great yep. stuff. Mm -hmm.